Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Bloops and welcome to another tutorial on how to speed up your Windows computer. All right, so let's get started. You're gonna wanna right click on anywhere on your desktop that's open and go to personalize. All right, once you're here, you're gonna wanna go to sounds and then go to no sounds. This isn't gonna change the sound, say if you're playing a game or you're watching a YouTube video, it's only gonna change window sounds. Like if you open maybe something or an error message pops up and you'll hear a sound, it's gonna take off that. That's what that's gonna do. So once you click on no sounds, just click on apply and then okay. After that, you're gonna wanna go to desktop background. Now this is optional here. You don't have to do this. You're gonna wanna download a clear background. Now you can make one of these in paint just maybe keep it black, blue, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Maybe you pick your favorite color, it doesn't really matter. And then just set that as your background. I'm gonna keep mine as it is, because I like that, and I don't necessarily need this. Then go to screensaver, and click on none. Click apply, and then okay. Next, there's two ways to get to this one. If you're using a laptop, you should see a battery symbol on the bottom here. Just right click that and click on options or settings. Now if you're using a desktop computer, you're going to want to go to control panel. If you're using Windows 7, you're going to want to go to the bottom left and then search control panel or just open that up if it's on here on the side. So once you open that up, you're going to want to click in power options. And then just click on that. Once you're there, you're going to want to click on high performance right here. It's going to use a little bit more energy, but it's really going to help overall your computer. So after that, just exit that out. All right. Next, you're going to want to go to computer. So if you're using Windows 7 again, go to the bottom left, find your computer, right click on that and go to properties. If you're using Windows 8 like I am, you're going to have to go to the top right corner, click search and type in computer. Then just right click on that and go to properties. So once you're here, you're going to want to go to advanced system settings. It's on the left side right here, bottom one. And you should be under the advanced tab. If you're not, just go right there. And then once you're here, you're going to want to go under performance and then settings. All right. This is optional. You don't need necessarily all of these unchecked, but it's definitely going to help. So you're going to want to go to adjust for best performance click apply now for Windows 7 users it's gonna take a little longer um, you might get a please wait sign and like a black and white screen but that's normal and I think if you don't like this necessarily like this you can of course as I said check some here like you don't need all these for Windows 7 I think it's the bottom two it makes it look slightly better uh, like a little bit more like Windows 7 with the top here like this and it's still you get good performance, so you can do that if you want. Of course, mine's different, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put that back. Whoops. All right. So once you're done that, you're going to want to exit that out again. All right, guys, the next thing I'm going to show you is going to help speed up your computer a lot. Now, uh, this is two different applications, so you're going to want to go open your internet browser. And I'll leave the links down below. You're just going to want to type in CC Cleaner or just click on the link as I said and it's www.preform.com once you're there just go to download and download whatever version you want of course these two cost money I'm just gonna go download the free version and click download now and of course I already have this so I'm not gonna download it now so I'm just gonna click discard and don't worry these are 100% virus free both of these you can check if you don't believe me but don't worry about that next you're gonna wanna go to advanced system care alright and I, once again I will leave the link in the description for both of these so you're gonna wanna click on iobit.com and then click download now now this is another one where you can buy it but there is a free version available so once again, I'm going to click discard because I already have this and I'm going to show you what these two actually are in just a second. Alright, so basically this right here is CC Cleaner. You're going to 
almost check every box here. Just check the one, check the ones. Sorry, that I have checked. If you don't need autocomplete form history or save passwords, you can check those. Um, if you don't want to save your font cache, you can delete that. Wipe free space. Now this will take a little longer, as it says, it will significantly increase the amount of time. But if you would like to do that. I would recommend it. Do it maybe every one in 10 times you clean with this. So once you have all this stuff, you're gonna to wanna to click Run Cleaner. Then click OK. And it shouldn't take too long. I haven't run this in a while, so I'm not sure. All right, so there it is, it's done. And it cleaned 1,146 megabytes. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to exit this out now because this stuff, you don't really have to worry about this. Advanced system care is a little bit, I'd say, more advanced than this. And it'll help out a little bit more. Alright, so you're going to want to go to advanced system care and just open that up. Basically, this is like a one in all, just complete awesome booster for your computer. Um, you go to toolbox. You can mess around with this stuff, but basically the care is going to be the care tab is what you're going to want to look out for. So you're just going to click on care and then type scan or click scan, sorry. And that'll take a little while. So you can just pause the video here if you're doing this, or you could wait till the end of the video. Now I'm just going to skip all these. And basically, once this is done, this should really help. As it says, nine problems found already, and it just started up, so this is really helpful. And now, once again, if you're using Windows 7, go to the bottom left and type in run. For Windows 8, just go top right, search, and then run. All right. Once you're there, you're gonna wanna right click, then go to run and then type in msconfig and click OK. All right, so once you're there, you're gonna wanna go to Boots and then Advanced Options. This is really gonna speed up your computer startup. So by default, I think this is on one. I think that's what mine was, but this isn't gonna help you if you don't have any more than one processor. If you have two, pick two. If you have four, pick four. I have six, so of course I'm gonna pick six. And once you're done that, just click OK. Now here, this is the last thing I'm going to be covering. I may make another video covering more if you still need help. Just leave a comment down below if this didn't help you much and I'll get to you. Um, you're going to want to go to services. It's to the right of boot and turn off anything that you don't, uh, do not need. I don't need fax unless you're using a fax. You're going to want to disable that. Just unclick that. So you don't use Hamachi if you have that. Unclick that. Just stuff that you don't need. Now, one thing I know you don't need, it says it helps, but for some computers it'll slow it down a lot. I think it's called Superfetch. If you find that, there it is, Superfetch. You're just going to want to uncheck that. And again, TeamViewer 8, you don't need that. Telephony, no idea what that is, but I don't think it's important, so you can just uncheck that. Alright guys, after that just click Apply, and you're basically done. Again, if you need more help, just leave a comment down below and subscribe for more to come. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope I helped and I'll see you guys next time.